Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's midweek Wednesday, October the 19th, 2011. Welcome to DMartez.com. I am your host, DMartez. I'm also your brother, cousin, uncle, best friend, co-worker, castmate, neighbor. Everything wrapped up into one. Thanks again for coming to DMartez.com to hear today's show. I'm your source for information, inspiration, and laughter. Yeah, so you're at the midpoint of your week. Currently here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 46 degrees. So nice, brisk weather. You know, not cold. No fireplaces should be going. No starter jackets. No turtlenecks. <laughs> it's not that cold just yet. But tomorrow, the morning low is supposed to be about 39 degrees. So great weather for some, but some hate it. On today's show, I'm going to tell you about a personal trainer that makes himself obese on purpose. Michelle Obama says Barack Obama is not a fan of the Kardashians. Warning signs that mom and dad need to stop driving. <laughs> That's pretty funny and I bet we can all relate to that one. And here's a wacky sick story called this Wacky Wednesday. A Memphis man arrested for having sex with the woman's dog. Yeah, like, if that's not nasty, I don't know what is. So, all of that, and of course, some music here on the DeMartez show. So, Justin Bieber's Christmas album, you know I've been talking about that lately. Well, his Christmas album is coming out, and he's already dropped his first single from the Christmas album, and it's called Mistletoe. So, I'm going to play this, and you know... I'm not really a Bieber fan. I mean, I respect his hustle. He's definitely made a name for himself in music. But I just want you to hear Mistletoe off of Justin Bieber's new album. And um, does it work or does it hurt? You tell me. Leave your comments right here on the site. Mistletoe, Justin Bieber. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. I don't wanna miss out on the holiday, but I can't stop staring at your face. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. Will you, shawty, will you, will you, shawty, will you? Okay, that's all I could take. So, Under the Mistletoe with Justin Bieber. And you heard him saying, Under the Mistletoe with you, shawty with you, with you. I don't know. Kind of catchy. Yes, love it, hate it. You can leave your comments right here on the site and let me know what you think about that. Okay, so this personal trainer who makes himself obese on purpose. And you can see this guy's fit to fat pictures right here on the site. Since May, Drew Manning has gained about 70 pounds on purpose and he says he's not done yet. Drew is a personal trainer and he's always been the fit guy. Now he's on a journey he calls fit to fat to fit where he spends six months. He has about four weeks left eating unhealthy foods and not exercising. Then he will take six months to get fit again. Hope it works. So why? To experience for himself what it's like to be overweight, how tough it is to lose weight, and ultimately show others how to get fit. Now, Drew was asked, has the change from fit to fat been hard? Here's what Drew said. He says it's been very tough physically, mentally, and emotionally to let myself go like this. The first couple of months were the hardest. I felt like I was going through withdrawals just like any other addiction. I was jealous seeing people running, going to the gym, and being in shape. So he saw some, you know, somebody could have been running out of bank, just robbed it. And Drew saw them and was like, no, let me go in your place. Drew was asked, how does he feel after gaining 70 pounds? Drew says, I'm to the point where I feel lethargic and uncomfortable. In the beginning, I did not like soda, but now I can't go a day without it. Otherwise, I'll get headaches, I'll be in a bad mood. Emotionally, it has taken a toll on my confidence level, even my marriage. I don't like the way I look in public. Nothing fits right. Bending over to tie my shoes or clip my toenails 
has become so difficult, I've definitely taken those things for granted. Wow, and you know, when you're a certain size, you do. You know, Drew, I'm, I'm about 70 pounds overweight myself. But uh, I don't have trouble clipping my toenails and I can bend over just fine and I can do a Chinese split. Ha! Huh. So what you say about that, Drew? Michelle Obama says Barack Obama is not a fan of the Kardashians. I mean, well, when you think about it, who really is? Like, I, okay, I take that back because I'm sure there's people listening to the show that love the Kardashians, but... I'm not a fan of that show at all. I mean, Kim's beautiful. I like the way Kim looks. But other than that, no. So I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Here's some music from Boys to Men. This is Boys to Men featuring Charlie, as some would say. Charlie Wilson. This is more than you'll ever know. Yes, old school R&B, in a sense. If all music was like this. Boys to Men and Charlie Wilson right here on The Demartez Show. <laughs> I like that, y'all. I like that. That's more than you'll ever know, Boys to Men and Charlie Wilson. And hats off to Charlie Wilson. I mean, he fit right in. He sound just like one of the lost members of Boys to Men. Michelle Obama says Barack Obama is not a fan of the Kardashians. Speaking at a roundtable interview with iVillage.com, First Lady Michelle Obama was asked about her children's television viewing habits. She doesn't allow TV or computer screens during the week unless it's for school. But she and the girls do like to get in some tube time over the weekends. The Kardashians flagship show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, just so happens to run on Sunday night, which doesn't exactly thrill Barack Obama, the first dad. Barack really thinks some of the Kardashian, when they watch that stuff, he doesn't like that as much, Michelle said. But I sort of feel like if we're talking about it, and I'm more concerned with how they take it in. What did they learn when they watched it? And if they're learning the right lessons like that was crazy, then I'm like, okay. You know, so Sasha Malaya watched the Kardashians as a precautionary lesson. So I guess they're learning. I guess they see the Kardashians and they're learning, you know, like what not to do. So whatever Kim and Chloe. And the other sister does, you know. Whatever they do, you do the opposite. That's what they're learning. A Memphis man arrested for having sex with a woman's dog. Wow. <laughs> Witnesses said the man was having sex in the neighbor's backyard. Now, the man's name is Kimberly. Yes, Kimberly Lawson, and he's been charged with criminal offense against an animal. According to police reports, neighbors in the 600 block of Lucy Street called the police Saturday morning to report that the man uh, was having sex with the neighbor's dog multiple times, and it was with a German shepherd. 
I guess he like big dogs, big atomic dogs. But uh, definitely a little, you know, a little gross, a little nasty story here. Uh, people will do uh, the strangest things. And the lady, the neighbor, um, you know, she's really mortified. I'll let you hear more about this story right here. If it plays, if it comes up, you'll hear more about the story. Here we go. My dog is like my child. I know, you know, I, I know people say, oh, he's just a dog. But if they just don't understand how I feel, I feel bad. Saturday morning, police arrested a 40-year-old Kimberly Lawson for allegedly having sex with a dog, a German Shepherd named Adam. The dog's owner, Caroline Morris, says she found out about the abuse when her neighbors came and told her what they saw. Saturday in the morning, and he just said that somebody is having sex with our dog. And I just could not believe it. And I said, you know, I, let's call 911. That's what we did. Neighbors say they called police after they saw Lawson pull down his pants, get on his knees, and allow the dog to mount him. We wouldn't have thought. That somebody, you know, I'm just going to say it, raping our dog, because that's what he did. I had to tell Adam he did not do nothing wrong. The man did it wrong. Laura says she believes the abuse has been going on for nearly a month because Adam has been acting strange. Witnesses who saw the act told police the dog mounted the suspect on at least three total occasions within an hour's time. I had let Adam down, you know, that's how you feel, that's the truth, as a parent, you know, if, a, if you're a parent and if you... Okay, so there you have it, so the man did not actually have uh, sexual intercourse uh, with this dog, but he allowed the dog to give him head. Now, what's amazing to me about this story, you know, how did the dog know to do that? And... I don't know. It's just a lot of questions here. But the lady said, you know, as a parent. So she feels that this German Shepherd is her child. And, you know, being or have been a dog owner, I can understand. You know, dogs are like man's best friend. Well, in this case, this is this too close of a friend. But um, wacky Wednesday sick story right there. So warning signs that mom and dad need to stop driving. Okay, let me give you one. Too many near misses. We all experience close calls while driving, but these should be rare occurrences. If you are afraid to drive with your mom or dad these days because he or she can't seem to keep his or her mind on the traffic, it's a strong indication that he or she should stop driving. Okay, losing their way. Anyone can get lost, but if this becomes a noticeable pattern, it may be a signal, uh, you know, that it's time for them to start driving. A little memory loss there. So if mom is like, I'm going to run to the corner store, and I'm going to see Gladys, and I'll be right back. And then it's been like 30 minutes, and then your mom calls you back, or you go out and look for her, and she's four blocks away. No, I can't find Gladys' house. Then something it's definitely wrong. I'll give you more warning signs that mom and dad need to stop driving. Here's some more music. This is Tim Bowman Jr. featuring Vicky Winans. This is a great song. It's called He Will. Yes, God Will. Right here on the D. Martez Show.
that Vicky Winans is a singing woman. Listen how many times Vicky took that up. Okay, so warning signs. Mom and dad need to stop driving. You need to get them from behind the wheel. What about slow responses? Yeah, drivers don't need to have the quick reflexes of teenagers, you know, to be behind the wheel. But they must be able um, to respond to sudden changes in traffic. Like they got to react. If there's a cone in the middle of the street... You know, mom and dad should not be riding over the cone and be like, did I just bump into something? And also, having a badly battered car, if you've noticed, you know, a growing amount of dings and dents on your parents' car, there's a sign that something is definitely wrong. And if they're driving angry, like, you know, you're in the car with your mom and dad and everything is just getting on their nerves. This light won't change. She won't go. Did it. You know, mom and dad need to stop driving definitely. Well, that's it for today's show. It's Midweek Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter at D underscore Martez. And you can also like my Facebook fan page. That's D dot Martez. Spread the word about the D Martez show again. I'm your source for information, inspiration, and laughter. Have a great day. I'll return on Friday. I'll leave you with Lady Gaga, Edge of Glory. Remember, D Martez, I love you listening. <laughs> Reason you and me should be alone tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. I got a reason that you who should take me home tonight.